The title already says it, we want to empower the end user and the consumer uh, to, uh, for the energy transition and this basically has two implications or two dimensions uh, rather. Uh, one is that uh, the uh, consumer by being more active, by providing flexibility uh, will benefit himself, uh, they will have less, uh, less of an energy bill in the end um, and on the other side of course the consumers being an active party in the market will also contribute uh, to uh, provide flexibility and with this also stability into the system. Doing something for the benefit of yourself but also for the contribution to the system as a whole is behind the, um, the, uh, the, the title and, and the strategy as a whole. we place the consumer in the center. So we really want uh, to look at uh, all the regulatory measures and the structure, the regulatory framework from the perspective of what benefits the consumer. So you would need to have a, a well-functioning market with an efficient price signal indicating the value, the real value of uh, energy or flexibility at a certain moment in time. The structure and the governance needs to, to to take into account and to frame, to be framed in a way that consumers are protected, that they know their rights, can take, can take an informed uh, decision that is very important so that markets are transparent uh, and that they know their rights and their obligations. And that is of course something that is uh, valid for all market parties. Otherwise, markets will not uh, deliver the best and the optimal outcome. And the last dimension is an uh, integrated energy system. Up to now there were very often silos. Uh, so we have the electricity silo, the gas silo and maybe even the heating silo and they were not really connected. In order to really make a transition uh, of the whole energy system it needs to get flexible, more flexible, that's what, what we covered before, but it also needs to get more integrated. We need to have this uh, energy system integration uh, and that is a sort of holistic perspective, not looking at different uh, ways of defining storage in electricity separate from gas but seeing it together uh, because there is an interaction in particular when markets get more flexible. So how do we uh, narrow down the, the barriers that are still there to break down the silos in the end? Mm -hmm.